Number 54. What is the pressure inside an aviolus having a radius of 2.5 times 10 to the minus 4 meter if the surface tension of the fluid line wall is the same as that for soapy water? You may assume the pressure is the same as that created by a spherical bubble. All right. So this problem is actually, it's very simple to answer. Um, so the idea here is that, uh, so first thing is, right, what is surface tension? All right, surface tension down here is represented by the Greek letter gamma. And it's basically a force per unit length. All right, that's all it is. Now, when we start dealing with um, surface tensions for different shaped objects, we then start getting into different types of formulas. Now, I think the only one you should be concerned with here is gonna be that of a spherical bubble. So what this does is this relates the pressure inside of a certain three-dimensional object. It has to be those spherical object, okay? And it says that we can take four, multiply it by the surface tension of the object, and then divide it by R. So there's, there's definitely, you know, if you notice the four is in here, or you might be thinking, well, how does that come about? Why is there a four there? You start thinking about, well, the volume, what's the volume of, spe of a sphere, right? It's four thirds pi R cubed. There's a four in there. So somehow, you know, th this is definitely related to the volume of a sphere. I'm not going to go through it because I don't, I don't think you'll have to. Um, but in any case, to solve a problem like this, it's fairly straightforward if you know this formula. So the pressure is equal to 4 times that of the um, surface tension, then divided by the radius of that spherical object. So the pressure here is going to be now 4 times the gamma value. Now the gamma value told us that of soapy water. The surface tension is similar. This you have to look up. I, I don't think you'll have to memorize that. But um, So here's the value we wanted in terms of Newton meter. All right, standard unit for force, standard unit for length. So we are good. We can plug it all in, 0 0.0370, all divided by then the radius of 2.50 times 10 to the minus fourth. And here we now have the pressure is going to be simply 4 times 0 0.037 divided by 2.5 times 10 to the minus fourth. And we, go about, and we get a value of about 592, and that's 592 Pascal. Okay. All right, guys. So I hope that helped. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.